so instead of showing me where it is on the map, the game is having me follow Longfellow to the place and Old Mountain Trail for work. Fog ain't like nothing you see in the Yeah. is all you need. Wait, Rataway is not effective? You all turned around. There's something in your brain. Rappers were mean to begin with. What is up with the fog? Is it laced with crack cocaine? Like, is that why people are going crazy or something? I just don't understand why we have to fear the fog that much, but whatever. But yeah, I would prefer to go finding myself than having to follow, but I don't know. What? What is it? Incoming. What, the ghouls? Ghouls got nothing on me. Here's Are we good now? Trail. We stick to this and we'll make it to Acadia. Why couldn't the game just show me where this place was to begin with? Like, why do I have to follow? They usually stick to the deep fog. Unless we steer clear. But you never know. That was from an animal? Oh my god, I am so not looking forward to this. Like, I better not deal with any type of crawlers. I'm not really in the mood. I just want to head to Arcadia, solve this mystery with my little Scooby gang, the sexy reporter, who reminds me of my work wife, because honestly, Piper has freckles, just like my work wife. Young lad, She's sarcastic, me. just like my work the wife. Has dark the hair, taller than me, just like my work wife. Like, I'm basically come. playing with my work wife, dead ass. Oh, God, short memory. And she does oh, have a temper, too, just like my work wife. Holy shit. Okay, so I went through here before with one of the side missions for... What the hell? What the hell is that? Is that a crawler? Oh, fuck. Why does she look like a nematode? I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, take some crab meat. I love how Piper is just killing with that little ass pistol. That is so funny. Alright, so you're dead, so I'm gonna take your meat, and I'm gonna take your meat. Yeah, that's it. Alright, Longfellow. Lead, and I will follow. He's got a fondness for fresh water. A small gulper, like the ones in these parts, is a fair challenge. Mm -hmm. Now the big ones. No me diga. They can grow two, three times the size of a man. Good thing you don't see too many of them around. I don't want to know why, but... Else Are they dead? Damn, I massacred this one. Thank you for the money, honey. Okay, where are we in the map? I'm curious. This better not be a long-ass trip across the whole entire map. Because I'm going to be mad. Because this whole walking around thing is mad work. At least in the Commonwealth, I didn't need to walk or travel this far. 
I just don't understand why I have to do so much walking. Yo, this road is basically Bridgeport Road. Wait, what's that? Stringing one more soul to the damnation, old man. Well, what have Ooh. we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic. That's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. Now you're here, though. Bullets. Faith shield you against those two? Who's she? One of them children of Adam Preachers. Started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. Yeah? I suggest you go no further. And why is that? Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. What's Acadia done to make you distrust them? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You holy do well fog. to avoid such creatures. And instead, seek the only true master of this land. All right, I'm listening. Tell me about Adam. Tell you. Look around. I'm you looking at your hair right now. His kingdom. A land blanketed beneath sacred fog. A land Adam has claimed for his children. And you may join our family if he deems you worthy. On second thought, I'm good. So be it. But I would be mindful where you step. Is that a threat? After all, you are in Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move. Girl, your hair. Woo. Bro, if Adam is such a good, no good problem. God as you he say he is, he could provide you with a better hairline, bro. What is this? Hold on. Huh. I wonder why I didn't want to show him the map in the first place. So this is Arcadia. Not bad. Not bad. And we've arrived. Arcadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Leaving already? Don't you want to see what happens next? You saying you want me to stick around and watch your back? Oh, no. I can handle things from here. Good luck in there. I like Piper. But I'm serious about the offer. You thanks, ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together? I could think of worse things to do. Keep That's saying cool. to myself I should settle down someday. I think I missed the boat on that one. All right, Piper. Hey, what can I do? Hey, Piper. Hey, doll. Oh, she called me hey, doll. I like that. Your thoughts? Hey, Blue. Whew. What happened? <laughs> Goosebumps. Are you good, hon? No, oh, nothing. All right. She got goosebumps being near me. That's how I feel when I'm with my work wife. Anyways. Let's go check out Acadia. Whoa. This place is... You know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace, while you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you, as long as you welcome us. Well, in that case, I want a new cola, some stim packs, because you mean a condo return to our family, and um, <laughs> yeah. mm, a pony? <laughs> I see. I'm afraid some of those things I'm not in a position to give. What, the, the new cola? 
She's oh. safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question, and the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. But how are you someone sure? someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. But I how would I know you're not doing that? that? Before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth. Not hiding. Not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. Do I have a choice? You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? Mm, no, but if I squint real hard in the mirror, sometimes I look like someone else. <laughs> I'm afraid when I try that trick, nothing really changes. I know it might seem impossible that you could be a synth, but tell me, what's the first thing you can remember? I'm not going to tell my life story to someone I barely know. Let's hear your answer first. I was in a laboratory. Damn. In the Institute. Damn. They were pulling pieces of my head out. Something about wanting to test some neural process. That was every day for months. Strapped down operated on and then I was out the Institute has fail safes to strip memories that could identify where they are how to find them but I do remember being quite content I was free that is my earliest memory now Damn, he was willing to indulge me with his life story and shit. I was with my husband. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my son, Sean. And... Well, a lot's happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings? That's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? So the plot People, places, even revolves around also me change. questioning my identity? Or someone else has changed them i won't lie to you there will always be other explanations trauma true. disease true the background radiation oh they all take their toll on the mind but i can promise you that you will be accepted here whatever you decide is true for yourself i've heard enough where is kasumi nakano of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? I'm just going to tell you right now, Dima. I'm in the Institute. That's quite an admission to make. Yeah, how you feel? I'm used to the Institute striking from the shadows. I'll say this to you. I'm not your enemy. Okay. I only wish to live here in peace with my people. As a scientist, can you not see the value of independent synth life? You have a chance here to witness how wondrous that could be. All you have to do is do nothing. Okay, you don't have to don't tell me twice. Don't tell your fellow researchers about us. Don't tell them we're here. Fine. 
I'll keep your secrets for now. Thank for now, you. old man. Now, for now. Was there anything else I can do for you? I'm also going to tell him about me being the railroad. I'm part of a group that helps since a railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Well, yes, now that you put it that way. The memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the cost, I know how frightening it is, the risk of capture. But sacrificing what you are Avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life? Ideals aren't going to protect escaped sense. We do what we have to. I know that's what you think. I just... What? No. What? No, I shouldn't T judge. Tell me. I'm over here, far from the Commonwealth, in relative safety. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss? Dude, your voice is so soft and smooth. You could do like ASMR. No, AS ASMR. Sorry, my bad. Or read an a audiobook or something. Like you're strangely chill for some reason. Who are you? What's your story? Yeah, I came who are to you? This island over a century ago, hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured. I was left with nothing. No program task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. D Damn. Day, Is that depression? I'm, I'm that here. Maybe I could decide for myself what to do. Who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? Tell me more about this place, Acadia. All I want is to bring as many synths here as I can and give them a chance to know what they really are. To embrace it. Beyond that, we just want to live in peace. I don't have any grand plans for expansion. Just existing as we are now is enough. Was there anything else? Was there anything else? Yes, there is. So, everyone here in Acadia is a Sith? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. I... I am the leader of the Synths, and I'm just talking like this, so I can just appear to be mysterious cool, calm, and collective, even though this plot is slowly becoming predictable. Take your time. And also, he's he's patronizing me, so fuck you. But anyways, throughout this whole plot, I have a good feeling that he's trying so hard to be a good guy, when in reality something happens where it will be revealed that he's the bad guy all along. Watch. I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we were in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Excuse me. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. So you're a synth? I am. I hope that's not a problem for you. I mean, Dima no, has worked but... hard to create a place for us where we can be safe from those who don't accept us. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Right, right. Wouldn't want him blowing a fuse, huh? Uh, no. Not really. I mean, that went over your head, but my bad. Sorry. Never mind. Okay. 
That totally won over his head. Anyways, let me go and find this girl just to check to see if she's alive. Now, she's downstairs, I believe. Yeah, she is. Because I know her parents are definitely worried about her, so... Alright, she's really, really down the basement. I mean, usually I hate going inside basements, but I feel like this one is relatively safe, so... I'm not too worried about it. And there she is. The woman of the hour. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. No, no you're not. Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They... they did what? Yeah. You came all this way... for me. Are Look, you disappointed? Dad, I, I mean, those people that were taking care of me... Ew! They wouldn't want me back. No, what? The truth. Kasumi, they are your mommy and poppy. Come on. What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. Stop I'm it. I'm a synth. How I you thought know? if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> but what proof do you have? Listen, do you have any proof that you're actually a synth? Little things. Dreams of waking up in a lab. Oh. Years I can't remember from when I was a kid. Oh. <laughs> Not to mention how I never quite fit in back at home. I mean, honey, you were surrounded by mama and papa. Of course you're not gonna feel like you fit in. That's called teenage years. You haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. Really? There's more going on here than just the refuge. So what's but the I thesis? But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Oh. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? Yeah, because I'm nosy. came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. <laughs> Sister, there's a lot of things on this island more important than you. If you could just Damn, hold the jokes I for sounded a second, like an asshole. You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? Yeah. They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. A nuclear Plus, what? Death counts. A nuclear Dima what? Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us. A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. That would be so messed up. Personally, I find calculated mass murder to be very soothing. Look, help me out, and if I'm wrong, you can make all the jokes you want. Uh, now, Piper doesn't like I've me tried being sarcastic. On my own, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide and eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Hmm. Eavesdropping on the next meeting sounds like our best bet. I'll see if I can find a way inside that room. Okay. Good luck. And come back as soon as you found anything. Okay, so let me take off my suit here. And uh baby girl. Hey, just let me anything you need. Baby girl, take off that armor. I need you to get out of your power armor. You got it. Cause we're about to do some sneaky sneak shit. Hell yeah. 
Let me go over my objectives. Um, so basically, I'm gonna try and gain access to the storage room. So my thing is, where is the storage room? Katie is far away enough from the institute that we don't have to worry, right? No, we don't. Bye. So this is the storage unit? Oh shit, I have to do the fucking lockpick shit. And this is expert. Oh shit. I got two left. Oh. Yes. Shit. You know your way around a bobby pin. Okay, honey. Um, let me turn this off. What's this? This storage room is for the general goods store. It's not a free for all. I'm not working with much to begin with, so quit taking things. If you need to get in here, come by the store. I'm going to say no, but you can ask all you want. What's the point? All right, how do I, hold on. Okay, let's go. Who's that? Oh, it's the doctor. And then I assume that's Chase. So where's Dima? We need to accomplish this without bloodshed. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam have a right to exist on this island. The same as us. They're going to kill each other, Dima. There's no stopping it. We need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the Cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The Nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's gonna keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. What My is it? My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight, but at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt, giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. <sighs> Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? and what's in them. I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have, but I've run some projections of worst case scenarios. If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands. So send, send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught, or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. 
We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.